problem we face in the modern day church. Um, it's a challenge because um, the greatest apostle that's currently living in the earth is Facebook. <laughs> because it contains every emerging prophet. But the challenge with this is um, you came from a family. You were born into a family. You were raised by a family. And you were sent from a family to raise your own family to give birth to your own family. Unless the Lord builds a house, they that labor, labor in vain. That word house is the Hebrew word for bias, which means family. Unless the Lord builds a family, our building constructs Ephesus, it's in vain. Because when you look at the text that comes after, it says, Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of arrows. That word arrow is poem. Poem, which means it's a fire at the tip of an arrow. So that means the emerging voice now has to come from the construct of family. In Habakkuk, uh, in thinking of Gaia, he deals with, uh, in that day our part must spring upon all flesh, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. We see the same context in the book of Acts. You never prophesy from isolation. You prophesy from the construct of family. And every family has a father. It's the proximity that shapes your gift. You cannot be shaped from distance because the knife will appear as a javelin to you. Javelins are always given to you from distance. The, in the words of Apostle Oscar, the blunt knife demands proximity. So as a son, as an emerging voice, I have to now allow myself to be scrutinized. To be held account for what I'm doing. To be brought to account for every prophetic word that I've spoken that hasn't been tested. And that's the part we don't like to hear. Because you had the liberty to stand before public and declare it is so. As a father, we now have to say, okay, you said this. You gave a timeline. It didn't come to pass. Come now. I think you need to go back to the prayer closet. I think you need to sit down. I think you need to serve. So that can only happen in the construct of family. And we prophesy from family. We never prophesy from isolation. 